Hey everybody, Joy here. Happy, 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 happy new year. January 1, 2022. And I have absolutely nothing to tell you or show you. <gasps> Wait, <laughs> that isn't quite true. Did you look behind me? Look here. I have never had that quilt hanging in this house. It hung in our store for, from the day we built it till we moved out of it. And it's never been hung in this house because I didn't think it would fit. But look it. We made it fit. I am so excited. I did not own the computer yet when I made this quilt. So all of the quilting on it was done freehand with my long arm. Isn't that something? I love this quilt. The quilt pattern is called Chanticleer. And friends, evidently Chanticleer, some famous rooster or something, <laughs> by Nancy Barrett. You probably can still buy the pattern, Chanticleer and Friends. It's a wonderful pattern. I was super, super, super newbie. I had only made one other quilt, and it was one of those where you make, you know, nine different blocks, sampler quilt. And uh, this was like my second one. Took me years and years and years to get it done, not because I worked on it for years and years and years, but because I had a job back then and I was very busy. <laughs> so I didn't have a lot of time to work on it. But this is just the cutest, cutest quilt. And I'm really proud of my quilting on it with no computer. <laughs> it's even got a bead on it. It's got a couple beads. Does it have, let me see, where's the chicken packing the ground? Yeah, it's supposed to have some beads right here. Some corn kernels. I need to still sew those on. <laughs> some corn kernels right here were supposed to be beads. And the eyeball of this chicken right here is a, um, a sequin and a bead. And this chicken has a little tiny button for an eye. And this little chicken has a sequin and a bead for an eye. And this one has a sequin and a bead, and that one has a tiny button. So there are quite a few buttons on here and beads. These three have seed beads for eyes. Six black seed beads. You want to see it up close? It's really cute. Really cute. Let me get the camera off and show you up quilt for my quilting friends out there. So notice that behind every chicken, the background is quilted different. I just don't even know how I did that back then. I don't know that I could do it today. Because once you start letting a computer do your quilting for you, I think you forget a lot. The eggs, all different chickens. I don't know which one's Chanticleer. Look at the three eggs. How cute are the three eggs? Do you see the little beads for the eyeballs? <laughs> that is so cute. And that chicken. I think the very first block I made back then was this one. I thought, oh, I can do a barn. <laughs> so I did the barn. And there's that guy. Super fabrics. The fabric, it was a kit. It was all part of a kit. So all the fabrics came with it, thank goodness, because I just love this. I love the colors, the red and the gray and the yellow. Now, I don't know if I can get down low enough to show you these other guys. I'll try. Look at that one with all the angular lines in it. And look at this one. One of them has some words in it. Is it this one? That doesn't have words, but it's got a sun. That's fun. And that's a crosshatch. And that's a, I don't know what, but it looks good to me. And then there's that guy. Let me see. No, that's the top guy. We're down here. And then here's the eggs. Somebody's eating the eggs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and there's that guy. And look at this fun little baby. <laughs> How cute is that? And there's that chubby one sitting in the hay. And then there's a worm. So maybe they do eat worms. And there's some more babies. And there's a cockadoodle doo. Is that where I said I put cockadoodle doo in one of these? Did y'all see it? 
And then the border was something that I had practiced doing on a pad of paper. The border. And I just am so proud of myself for doing that whole border freehand. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's find cock-a-doodle-doo. So right here is the cock-a-doodle-doo, and it is right there, see? So I wanted to tell you something other than Chanticleer. <laughs> While Jerry and I were at NIRBC, National Indoor RV Center, getting our 6,000 mile tune-up at 8,000 miles, <laughs> we had to go up to that waiting room every day. I think I told you about it yesterday. Well, the last day we were there, actually the day before the last day we were there, there was this other couple up there. And the man of the other couple is like me of this couple. <laughs> and we said hello to him, or he heard, he heard me talking to Jerry or something, I don't remember what. But anyway, he came across the room and he started talking to us. And we talked and we talked and we talked. It came lunchtime, we got up and we went to lunch. We all four went to lunch together to Olive Garden. Then we came back and we all sat there again till five o'clock and talked and talked and talked. And then the next day, their coach was still there. They'd been there since Sunday also. It was Ed and Dallas. The woman's name is Dallas. I'm like, how on earth did you get named Dallas? But she said her name is Alma Dallas or something. But anyway, they call her Dallas. So um, they were telling us how they had just signed up for uh, a rally in um, Texas in April. And they said, are you guys going to the rally? And we're like, Rally? What rally? What's a rally? <laughs> and so this other person that worked there was there. And so she came over and she started talking to us and telling us about the rally. So evidently it's just like where anybody who has an RV can go to it. And then National Indoor RV Center puts it on. And they have... Um, activities for you to do for three days. They give you all your food and then they have activities for you to do. The lady said it's kind of like a cruise. Only this one's going to be at the Dallas Motor Speedway. I think that's what it's called. Dallas Motor Speedway in April. And so Ed and Dallas were signed up to go to it. And they said, why don't you go and we can park our coaches next to each other. So Jeremy and I signed up for it. Who knew? <laughs> So then I came home and I thought, oh, I don't like crowds and I don't like a lot of people drinking and what if I don't like the activities and oh, joy, 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 joy and the usuals. So I decided to just quit that. I said, everybody's as old as we are or older. So it's not going to be a bunch of kids partying, you know, and hopefully not a bunch of little kids running around. They'll all be in school. So we are signed up for that. So in April... We'll be gone, I guess it's four, three or four days. That's where we will be going for our very first rally. So I hope we like that because it's close by, you know, we're just two hours from there and it will be a way for us to meet other RV people and to see if we like going to that sort of thing. So I just wanted to tell you that is gonna happen in April and so you probably won't see me <laughs> much then. But I'll have to make a new wardrobe to take with me, won't I? So hopefully I will get some sewing done. Now that Christmas is over, I'm the type of person, Christmas is over, I'm done. Used to, when we had our house in Oklahoma City, and I mean, we had a family and they actually came, and we had all the festivities of the day, and they would all go home, you know, three, four o'clock in the afternoon, um, I'd take the tree down. I'd take the tree down right then on Christmas Day. And of course, I had to work then. I had a full-time job. I worked at an oil company. So I just wanted to get it done and over with before I went back to work. <laughs> so this time my tree is just, I just got the little tree put in a big um, baggie and closed up and put out in the attic. So I've got to go downstairs and I put the nativity back and, you know, put the little gifts we got back and... So that's what I've got to do. So I don't have time to sew for you or quilt for you today. But I did want you to see Chanticleer and Friends. Tell me what you think about it. All right?
Bye for now.